Hey guys, Sub here, and welcome to a quick little video where I'm going to be showing you some of the best shaders to use on the new Fatebringer hand cannon you can get right now from the new raid, Vault of Glass. Now, there are a lot of shaders in the game, and with this new shader menu, it's a lot to go through, but I'm going to just go through a few of my favorites, and yeah. So, first up is this Omnicronius shader. You get this from the Vogue bundle you can buy from Eververse for 500 silver. You get this shader. You get the Continuum Alloy Shader, which also looks very nice, and you get 5 Synth Weave for only $5, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, the bundle unlocks after you beat Vault of Glass, and yeah, so I bought it, and I think Omnicronia looks amazing on Fatebringer, and it looks amazing on basically every single Vault of Glass weapon. So, yeah. That's basically it for the first page, so I'm gonna head on. Uh, Kana's Coat, also worthy mention here, it makes the gun look very interesting. I like it. Uh, second page here, we have a uh, silver tentacle. Makes it look like OG Fatebringer, uh, the time lost version, which that looks absolutely amazing. That's another one to note. Uh, where is the other one? Uh, Butterbark will make it all wooden. Uh, I believe that's it for this page. Yeah, okay. So next up, Gambit Emerald. This gives it a nice reactive look and green. I think this absolutely looks amazing. I mean, look at that. It's just beautiful. Uh, so that's that shader. Um, Gunmetal Marigold makes it look very interesting as well. I like the purple. Reminds me of um, some other cool weapons like Trophy Hunter. Uh, next up, uh, where is it? No, not Amethyst Veil. Um, naturally, all the Black Army shaders will make it look uh, very interesting, so you can use these if you want. Bergusia, always looking nice. Uh, Dreaming Spectrum, one of my other personal favorites on this. It gives it a very clean look. I'm a big fan of it. You got the gold and sort of like the sand reactive texture there. Along with the purple at the bottom there. That gun handle, it looks very nice. Blue Shift Dreams, also again, very interesting. Very nice look. Uh, moving on from there, on this page, we have the Scented Vex Chrome, which makes all VOG weapons look just really cool. It gives them this nice like green shader. I guess Korean's not the best word, but yeah, it looks nice. Um, next up, monochromatic, making the gun all white, uh, if that's your sort of style. And Metro Shift, making it all black with some lights, always nice there. Calluses Selected and Treasured also make the gun look very nice. Selected like gives it a nice white and purple, gold accents. And Treasured makes the gun mostly gold and everything else black, which Compared to the original gun, kind of just smoothens it out, smoothens out the textures. So, does that with all Vogue weapons, it is definitely one of the top shaders. Lastly, we have Bitter Pearl, which you can get from doing all the collectibles in the Vault of Glass. Uh, I recommend looking up a guide for those, I believe they're 11, and it's not that hard to get, definitely you could do it in one run. And yeah, it's a nice reactive shader, you can see it moves pretty fast if you really focus in on that. And it just looks amazing on most weapons, so yeah. That is all of the shaders I find good for Fatebringer. Personally, I like Omnichromia the best, so I'm gonna put this back on, because it is reactive and it just makes it look so much nice. So, thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.